you can help your child with comprehension. If your child is a beginner reader or perhaps a listener, you can read the story to your child. If your child is a little older, perhaps you can read a page, your child can read a page. And if your, your child is capable, have the child read the whole story. But this is the way you help them with the comprehension. Your preschooler or beginner reader may enjoy reading his or her own stories. I suggest that you get a notebook that has the prongs in it. So you can actually flip the stories that your child has written into, into sleeves like this, protective sleeves, and insert them into the book between the books. This way, your child will be able to read what he or she has written. And it's a lot of fun for a child to begin reading their own stories. I put a fancy sheet in this first. My stories by me. And then used picture prompts to do a who, what, where. And then turn those sentence, turn those who, what, where notes into actual sentences. This particular, this was a particular picture. You can use your own pictures actually from uh, scenes that you've taken or your own personal, personal uh, pictures of family and such. Or you can use magazines or um, photos, you know, professional photos that you might find in um, books or in um, online. In this particular one, we have a who, what, where, when, why, and how. Daddy, mommy, brother, I. What went swimming, ate watermelon. Where, ocean. When, last summer. Why, to be together. How get, got sand in it. And the child's paragraph turned out like this. Daddy, Mommy, my brother and I went swimming in the ocean last summer. We ate watermelon on the beach. We got sand in it. And then the child might actually illustrate. You may have to describe the notes and scribe the paragraph for your child if, uh, if your child is a preschooler and a non-writer, but your older child, perhaps kindergarten age, or maybe a four-year-old could do this, kindergarten age or, or first grade, would be able to take the who, what, where and make their own paragraph and um, do their, their own writing. In a different picture prompt we had, this was um, a picture of a fruit stand, a fruit and vegetable stand at the market. Who, mommy and I, what, fruits, vegetables, where, store, when, go to store, why, to buy food, how, looked good. The paragraph that this child came up with was, I like fruits and vegetables. They taste good and they look pretty. I see them when I go to the store with mommy. And we have a little bit of illustration on that page. Uh, in a different picture prompt, this one was about peng penguins. Uh, walked on the ice and snow, where Antarctica, you might have an opportunity to show your child where Antarctica is on the globe. When they were together, why? Because happy. How sliding. The penguins walked in Antarctica. They were happy to be together. They went sliding on the ice and snow. Your child is going to use the larger vocabulary, but will get used to it. Perhaps they're going to see that word Antarctica, and they're going to be able to say that when they're reading this all curled up under a blanket in the, in the corner of the couch. <laughs>